who is Lei Kong. Some of us already know Lei Kong because um, you know he's uh, of course in maps, but also very, very, very uh, generous with his knowledge, with his tips, which is actually his business. He's so good that he'll actually, if you, if you message him, he will give you a whole lesson as well. But online, he's actually giving, you, giving us a lot of tips which are immediately applicable and you don't have to pay a cent. But what you can do now is to pay him back because this guy is going to come up in a while, but let's just understand a little bit about him. He says growing a business should not be a mystery. Okay, uh, He's an author, speaker and a coach. He guides companies in strategy, digital marketing and sales so that businesses will grow and thrive at ease. And I know he must be doing that perfectly with the way that he is. Take it over, the, you know, right now, they come all yours. <laughs> now the applause. It's, it's actually exercise, you know, it's circulation of the blood. Okay, so do louder. Yeah, all yours. All right, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right, fellow speaker. We have a problem. Right. Okay, I want to share with you that online ads are useless. Whether you are running Facebook ads, or whether you are running Google ads, or whatever, YouTube ads, IG ads. Right, do you realize that when you run Facebook ads, there are certain criteria that you have to fulfill? There's certain selection that you need to do? All right. So what I want, and I sh share digital marketing, all right, as Sharma mentioned. So I want to tell you this is true. Right, often I met up with a lot of speakers and trainers and from my client, they complain that their ads or digital marketing don't work. All right, some of them felt that uh, they are not sure how it works because I say when you do on Facebook, as you properly need to understand how to select your campaign objective, right? If you select the wrong campaign objective, then you need to select the asset where you decide your demographic and whatnot. Then only you go into the ads level, right? But if you do on Google, first thing you need to understand is keywords research. Then you need to learn about Google Analytics and also search console, right? If all of this sound too technical to you, then you have a problem because it's not going to work, all right? And you are not sure whether are you doing it right, okay? And therefore, whatever you invested on the ads did not give you the ROI that you want. And this is pretty frustrating, all right? Any one of you have experience like that? All right, okay, let's move on. Okay, so when you run ads, all the time when you do digital marketing, what do people expect? Normally, people will say, I run an ads, I drive the traffic to my website. And from my website, I want to close sales. All right? But in actual fact, things don't happen like that. Agree? All right? If you sell cookies, that is fine. You can run ads, drive ads to your Shopee or Lazada store and sell your cookie. Or you sell books, it's fine. But if we are speaker, trainers, coaches, do your customer go to your website and add your two-day training to cart and pay you like that. All right? So it doesn't work in such a way. Okay? So let me share with you some truth. Okay, first one, people don't come to your website to learn more about you. People don't. Okay, I'll give you a simple example. If let's say today I am representing a company, let's say my boss asked me to uh, source for a leadership speaker, and I don't know anything about maps, I have not met Jonathan, I have not met Johan. So I know no one. So typically what would I do? Go Google, right? So I will go Google saying that leadership speaker in Malaysia, then Google will show up a list. Then what will I do next? 
I will click inside into whatever listed, not one, but a few. All right? So at this point, when I click in, example, if I click into Jonathan website, seriously, do you think uh, what I understand about CSP? Do I care what is CSP? No. At that particular point. Or do I really care about your company? You have 40 years experience? Or your vision, mission, culture statement? No. At that point, no. Alright? So people don't come to your website to learn more about you. People come to your website to solve their problem. So at this, at this point, I want to look for a leadership coach because my boss asked me to do so. So I want to go to a website that tell me you, you are a good leadership coach that can be my speaker and solve my problem, meet my KPI. Make sense? Yeah. All right. Next part. People don't read a website. Yeah. Right? So you don't have to create a website that you write 5,000 words that satisfy SEO. In fact, SEO can be satisfied in a much simpler way which there will be a separate talk. Lah, huh? All right. So what people do when they come to your website? They scan for keywords and relevant information. So on your website, what you want to do is to put keywords that help you help to make your customer life better. And relevant information like picture or video or whatnot to help them make their life better. All right? And lastly, uh, this is the true thing. If I go to a Google search, I click one by one, I find Jonathan, I find Johan, I find Siva, and whatnot, then most people at this first round will not send you an immediate inquiry. Right? You go to website, Malaysian like to do this. Look see, look see. Sama Singaporean too, alright? We go into website, we don't do anything, we look see, look see. They know that. All right? And most people don't send immediate inquiry unless I'm very desperate. All right? Then, you as the website owner, you have no idea who visited your website. Correct? And therefore, you have no way to do any follow-up. All right? So, when you do your marketing or your funnel in such a way, you are in a very passive mode. Unless someone send you an inquiry, otherwise you have no idea what's happened. That's why you are burning money on ads that's not working. Right? And you have a website that's not converting. And lastly, there's no way for you to do follow-up. Okay, so yesterday we talked about being a speaker when you are on stage, you want to be in control, correct? Marketing, the same. You want to be in control. You don't want to be passive. You don't want to wait until someone trigger you, then only you respond. Because when people, if people don't trigger, nothing happens. Alright, so how do we solve this problem? Right, so I have a simple solution called you want to build a funnel. Alright, a funnel can look typically like this. Right, it's normally five stages. You start with the awareness on top of the funnel. Awareness is where you create awareness. It can be done in a few ways. Number one, it can be just as organic reach, meaning that you regularly post content on LinkedIn, on your blog, do video, then you reach organically. Second, of course, you can run ads. Or third, you can come to events like this, talk to each other, create awareness. Right? So they are the awareness stage. So after people know about you, what will be next? Most likely, people will start Google you and visit your website. All right, at this point, your website, number one, need to be easy to navigate. Meaning that you want to avoid bombastic industry jargon. Because when I go to your website, I understand immediately what you do, how you can make my life better. Rather than you tell me bombastic thing, which I don't understand. When you confuse people, you lose. That's simple. Second, you need to have a clear message and a relevant call to action. What do you want people to do next after they visited your website? Never assume people know what to do. Never assume people know they know where to click the contact me button. No, people don't. Okay, as I say, 
most people don't send you an immediate inquiry. Alright? So how do you able to capture their contact to do follow-up? That is where you want to link, you want to add a link magnet. A link magnet is something like you, a speaker is very easy to give away. We can create a PDF file, something like an ebook or a checklist. So when you create an ebook, bear in mind, don't give away an ebook like Fu Yuan one, 400 pages. <laughs> Super challenging, right? So if you do an ebook, do somewhere 10 pages plus minus. Chukum. It's good enough, 10 pages plus minus. If you found writing 10 pages is challenging for you, do a one page checklist. Senang aja, do one page checklist. Senang, give away something in value on your website for people to download for free in exchange for their name and email. Alright? Then you capture their email, you can go to the next stage, which is nurturing. Then you can send them email, talk to them, and do short follow-up. And lastly, you close the deal. Alright? So a marketing funnel for a trainer speaker will look something like this. Number one, you run the awareness campaign, whatever you need to do. Then you drive people to your website. Alright? So you have an easy navigate. Uh, show them how you solve their problem, give away a link magnet, connect contact, have a clear CDA, call to action. Right? Next, you go to the nurturing stage. That's where you do follow up, uh, nurturing email, continue to give value, all right? and do your social media post because when you are on this stage, you can see here, stage two and stage three, website and nurture could be automated. Meaning you have to susa satukali, set up the thing, write the email in advance. Then when people download, all your email is auto-send. Right? You don't want to do manually, you pump yourself, you do manually. Right? Someone 3 a.m. send you, log into your thing, next morning you have to send manual email, you pump yourself. All right? So you, all these things can be automated, very simple to with simple tools. Then you can invite them to connect with you on LinkedIn, join a Facebook group or whatnot, then you can continue to nurture them. You see, when people come to this stage, they may buy from you, they may not buy from you. And in most cases, people, as I say, Malaysia like to look see, look see. People like to observe you, they want to feel that whether you are genuine, you are legit, you can deliver what you check out. Or you just check out. Alright? So you want to continue to uh, provide the value until someone felt that, ah, you are the person that can solve my problem seriously then they only will trigger a buying signal. And then only you go into the pre-sale model, which is you can start to do Zoom call, uh, arrange for lunch meeting, or send proposal, and subsequently uh, go for the sales. All right, so this will be typical funnel for a, uh, for a trainer or a speaker. All right, so you may have the thing, that the key here is, would email work? Would link magnet being legit? Okay, let me give you a simple example. If today I visit, I visited a yoga studio website, and on that yoga studio website, it offer a PDF saying that seven yoga lesson for beginner. For the people who download that PDF, would you agree that? that person is interested in yoga. Right? If I go to Jonathan Page and I download about something about leadership, it shows that I am interested in leadership, correct? Right? Would you go to a page and download something that you're not interested? Would you do that? What's the point? All right? So you can see on the email that you are collecting, it may not be an immediate hot customer that they may want to buy immediately, but at least the list that you are connect collecting are warm, not cold. Right? They are interested in what you are doing. So when you do subsequent follow-up, transfer from warm lead to hot lead, that's, that's where you start to nurture. Lah. All right? And you turn into a hot lead, that is where you convert. All right? So the list that you're collecting are quality leads not spam email, all right? So lastly, before you invest satu sien pun 
on online uh, digital marketing on all the ads, spend some time plan your funnel. Serious. Otherwise, you were throwing money. Uh, make Google rich. Make Facebook rich. You're not. Yeah. Uh, they are already rich, correct? Yeah. Richer. Yeah. Make them richer, correct? All right. So you want to plan for that funnel. Number one is easy to do. It's really easy to do. It's inexpensive, and the best part is automated. You don't need to manage at all, right? And finally, you take back control of your marketing. The ROI is bigger than your investment, is what you want. And finally, grow your business. With this, thank you very much. Yeah.